Hey there, once again, this is iTechnical coming to you with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a useful tool called CCleaner. Uh, it's a good tool to to tune up your, your system to uh, just clean it out from all the junk files that pile up over time. And also it fixes some, some registry errors. So this is going to be a quick tutorial. Just uh, I'm going to show you how, where to download it and how to run it <clears throat> and uh, how to use this tool this program so what you want to do first is you want to go to download.com you just open up your web browser and on the address bar just type download.com and it'll take you to the the home page for download.com and uh, to download CCleaner look and see if it's on the on the most popular downloads and it doesn't seem to be on there today so we're just gonna go search it we're just gonna let me let me clear this out. We just just click on the search box and type C cleaner. Okay. Once you do that, um, just download this first one right here, where it says download now. And Firefox will prompt you if you want to either save the file or cancel. And we're gonna save the file. So it's showing us here that it's downloading it. Okay, once that's done, in your downloads window, just double click on this CCleaner setup icon, just double click on it. And that will run the setup for CCleaner. And right here we'll just click run when you get that window. It'll, let me minimize these windows in the background and it'll ask you what language you want to choose from and we'll of course we'll choose English and we'll just click next uh, we'll agree to the terms click next and uh, here you have some options to leave checked or unchecked I usually uncheck the add Yahoo toolbar because I don't think it, it's necessary on my web browser and I leave the rest checked so I'll click install and it will install that program on my computer once that's complete um, it'll give me a, a message here completing the CCleaner and it gives me the version setup wizard and it says CCleaner ha has been installed on your computer click finish to close the wizard so we'll just click finished and it put a little shortcut icon here and we'll just just double click it and to run CCleaner to clean the junk files what you're gonna do is if you wanna analyze how much space or how much junk is gonna is gonna delete you click on analyze and but if you just wanna go ahead and run it just just clean it automatically you just click run cleaner in this case I'm gonna click analyze just to see how much junk it's gonna clean out for me and once I see how much space or how much junk it's telling me you can delete I'll just click run cleaner once this check is done here we got a message that it's telling us uh, you must close Firefox Mozilla to allow the internet cache to be clean otherwise this process will be skipped so when we cl I'm gonna close my Firefox Windows close them and then I'm gonna click OK okay so now here it's saying um, that I have 76.8 megabytes to be removed I've used this tool before so the, this number is pretty small compared to some other computers that I've ran this this tool with sometimes it gets up to a, a gigabyte or two gigabytes that it could be cleaned even more so once we know how much space it can clean we'll just go ahead and and run cleaner which what this is going to do is going to is going to delete all the junk and it's going to ask us this process will permanently delete files from your system are you sure you wish to proceed and I'm going to click OK but but just for the future I'm going to check this box where it says do not show me this message again so then I'll click OK so now what it's doing is cleaning up my system from all the junk files okay now it's telling us clean complete 
76.8 megabytes removed. All right. So the next the next tool that I use on Scene Cleaner is the Registry Cleaner. It cleans all these all, all that it has listed here. It cleans it out. So uh it's pretty secure to do this with C Cleaner. It's not going to mess your computer up because it's um I've done a lot of computers and I've I've ran C Cleaner on them and it it never has messed anything up. So I'm, this one's going to scan for issues or errors on the registry and it'll give us a list of all the errors. All right, once it's done checking, it's found uh, quite a, a few mistakes in the registry. So it's going to go ahead and uh delete or correct them and we'll just click fix selected issues and it's going to ask us do you want a backup change to the registry I, I usually just click no since I'm I know what how good CCleaner is and uh, once I do that I'll just click fix all selected issues and it's going to ask me if I want to, if I'm sure and yes I am so it, it fixed 40 issues I'll click close and I'll just run it one more time just in case it missed anything and we see there that it did miss uh, well it's still scanning but it's missed one thing so far and that seems to be it so I'll just click fix selected issue and now I'm not gonna back up my registry and I'll click fix issue and once that's fixed fixed we have we've used the CCleaner and the registry. You can also use other tools that are incorporated in CCleaner, which is uninstall a program or uh, turn off what starts up on on your computer. Sometimes w when you turn your computer on, it's really slow on loading everything and uh, loading your desktop or loading your icons, and it's because there's too many things trying to start up at the same time. So you just go through here and you like I've done, I've turned some some things that aren't necessary to run at startup. I turn them off and it says no here. And the ones that I haven't turned off, well, they say yes. So that makes uh, the computer startup a bit quicker. And one thing to note here um, is that since we downloaded the setup, in case you want to install CCleaner on another computer, you would just copy the setup file, which is this item here. Uh, you would copy that to your flash drive or to a CD and then take that to another computer uh, and install it there. Well that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful as I found, have found it useful as a computer technician. Um, one, one thing to note out, to point out is that before you do a, a virus scan just run CCleaner because there's a lot of viruses that are um, station on your temporary uh, f uh, folder and CCleaner goes ahead and deletes everything in the temporary folder so then that'll make it just a easier or a little bit quicker for your antivirus or your program that you're using to scan your computer with because it's not going to have to go through all the all the junk or all the files that are in the in the temporary folder so I, what I would do I would run CCleaner first and then run my my uh, programs that delete viruses or spyware etc alright guys well that's it and uh, comment and subscribe and give me any ideas that you want me to to uh, post videos about I have uh, more videos coming subscribe and uh, see you on the next one